all my dear viewers, welcome to my channel. My name is Marlena and today I will give you tips on how to look expensive on the beach. I am currently on a staff exchange, so it's not really a holidays, but almost. And I'm in Valencia, Spain. It's a really beautiful city at the beach, so today's topic is quite suitable and also summer is coming and of course most of us or many of us will be going on holidays probably will probably spend some time on the beach it is very easy to look not expensive on the beach but there are some easy and inexpensive tricks and tips on how to look classy sophisticated and at the same time of course attractive but in an expensive way on the beach. So let's start with tip number one. Decide if you want to choose a one-piece swimsuit or a two-piece bikini. So this is the first decision that you have to make. Of course, it depends on your body type and on what you feel more comfortable in. But in general, one-piece suits tend to look more classy. But it doesn't mean that bikinis won't look classy and expensive if you pay attention to the tips that are coming now tip number two that relates to both bikini and one piece bathing suit choose a style and a cut that supports your body so of course we have a variety of body types but it is important to choose a specific cut or style of the bathing suit or bikini that will benefit your specific individual features. That means choose something that supports your body. For example, if you have big breasts, choose something that supports your breasts, that gives you security and that brings them in, in their best shape. If you have small breasts, you would like to balance that out a little bit choose a piece with a push-up for example or of course you can also if you decide to wear a bikini use those triangle bikinis that are actually not giving a lot of support but if you have small breasts that you won't need that and you can pull that off of course so if you have a little bit of a belly you can choose those um, buttons that are high-waisted or simply choose a one-piece suit a fabric or um, a bathing suit might look really nice expensive and classy when you see it in the shop but if it doesn't suit your specific body type and if it doesn't support your figure it won't look expensive number three choose a quality fabric and that doesn't mean that the bikini or bathing suit has to be expensive but you have to pay attention to the fabric the same way that you pay attention to your clothing that you are buying. There are specific aspects that you should have a look at. The texture. Choose a texture that feels good and that is a little bit thicker, that is not so much see-through, especially when you choose a color that is a bit lighter. Prints. The most expensive looking are solid colors. But if you choose a print, pay attention that it is a nice print and not like a cheap looking print. In general, solid colors look a little bit more expensive or tend to look more classy than prints, unless it's a very classic print like polka dots or stripes, for example. Also, don't use bikinis or bathing suits that already look old. Invest then in a new piece instead of wearing maybe good fitting old piece that really looks used because that will of course make it look inexpensive. 4. Choose a color that suits your skin type. With bikinis it is quite important if you are not yet very tanned because a bikini is directly showing off your skin. So it's just next to your skin and you mostly don't wear makeup on the beach so it is much more beneficial for your overall classy, sophisticated, expensive look if you choose a color that suits your skin type. So for example, if you're very pale and maybe a summer type like I am, 
and it's just a black bikini that's quite convenient but maybe you would look much better in a bluish color or in a pink that suits your skin type even if it is not tanned of course when you already have a darker tan then other colors will also suit you that might not suit you when you are still pale but for example if you are a rather pale type and then you choose a color like yellow for your bathing suit or your bikini it won't really look beneficial analyze your color type and then also pay attention to this when choosing a bathing suit or a bikini number five also use either a linen shirt on top to cover yourself for example when you're going to get a drink or whatever to use a linen shirt for that is especially practical because you can just borrow one from your partner for example you don't have to buy it or you just buy one which can be really inexpensive but linen is a material that will always look expensive and classy so this is like a great way to just have something that looks cool and casual and also expensive to just throw on top when you're having to leave your sunbathing spot on the beach or at the pool and if you want to have it extra elegant then you can use one of those kimonos that exist and also with regard to that pay attention to the quality so same as with everything look at the fabric and look at the color and the pattern to something that looks expensive but doesn't have to be expensive of course number six also use high quality beach clothing because sometimes you see women that use their worst clothing like their worst home clothes or gym clothes to go to the beach because of course you think that you don't want to use some nice clothing with with the sunscreen and everything it will get dirty etc you will undress anyway but remember that when going to the beach you are also presenting yourself in a certain way so you should try to at least use a little bit more high quality clothing and going to the beach and i don't mean that you have to like pull on your evening dress i mean you can just use clothing made of linen for example like a nice linen dress a wrap dress or something made of uh, like a flowy material that is just nice maybe a nice long dress i can show you one dress that i just bought here in valencia that uh, i consider really nice and it's like a nice beach clothing or a nice clothing to go to the beach and also it's uh, easy to have like a bikini or bathing suit underneath wait a second i'll just show it to you so here it is so you see it is a really really nice long flowy dress and it's actually 70 percent silk and 30 percent polyester but for the 70 percent silk and it really has a nice fabric it's actually from india and it only cost me 28 euro and i think that i would hardly find a dress like that with such a high amount of silk in germany for example so i have bought it in a local small shop here in spain and I think this would be a really nice alternative for going to the beach. You should also use shoes that look a bit more high quality. Of course, it is very practical to have flip-flops or um, shoes made of rubber for the beach because of the sand and the water. But those don't necessarily have to look cheap. There are very nice alternatives, for example, for, by the brand Ipanema they have rubber sandals and flip-flops that can look really cute that are more fine for better quality and they are not very expensive even when you buy like um, inexpensive slippers at zara they sometimes are totally sufficient for the beach maybe you wouldn't wear them in the city because the quality is not the best maybe they are not made of um, leather but for the beach they can look totally nice and they will really elevate your beach look number seven use high quality accessories accessories are one of my favorite topic and on this one thing i would splurge and i would get a high quality maybe designer 
sunglasses. Big ones are the best. And when you put on the designer big sunglasses, they will elevate any outfit. And if the outfit, although inexpensive, looks high quality, looks classy and sophisticated, those designer sunglasses will even make it more classy, sophisticated and expensive. So if you have the budget to splurge on one item for the beach, I would splurge on, on the sunglasses because of course you can also use them with any other outfit in the summer. So that would be for the accessories and with regard to the bags, you know that I love designer handbags. But on the beach I would rather use something inexpensive but still nice and elegant and classy looking. Because I know there exist those uh, designer beach bags like by Chan Chanel or by Chloe or Christian Dior even. But I think that, I mean, if you can afford it, you can of course get a designer beach bag. But I think it's not really necessary and I will show you what I got here in Valencia at a local shop for an incredibly low price and looks so nice and high quality. And those kind of bags you can find basically almost everywhere, but especially of course in the Mediterranean countries. Those are bags made of natural materials and if they are well made, they will really look high quality. So wait, I will show you now. This is the bag that I got here in a little local shop run by a nice old lady and her husband and look at this bag it is made of a natural material handmade of course that's why of course there are some imperfections but overall it's very well made and then it has those nice leather real leather details and here this in actually quite interesting detail to close the bag close the bag a little bit which is also special because not all the bags have this most are without this middle part and uh, yeah also if you look in it's really nice it's easy you can throw in your towel or your uh, spare bikini and just um, yeah take it with you like this on the beach and i think this will look really nice and uh, also classy and do you know how much I paid for this? 18 euro only. Same goes for hats. You can find hats from those natural materials and when they are nicely made, just very plain and simple, mostly looks high quality and classy. And there are so many different kinds of hats that you can find in those small local shops or even at H&M or Zara, you can find those natural material hats if they have a nice shape that suits your style, that will also elevate your outfit. Sometimes a big head also tends to look more sophisticated. Number eight, use a tinted sunscreen for your face and some highlighter. So usually, of course, we don't use makeup at the beach, at least I don't, but we use sunscreen, of course. And why not use tinted sunscreen that will make you your um, face look a little bit better, that will harmonize some imperfections, that will give you a little bit of a glow. There are really nice tinted sunscreens or even tinted moisturizers with like SPF 50. For example, I found one by which is CC cream by IT Cosmetics. It has also some glowy particles in it that would be suitable for the beach. Or if you have very sensitive skin, you can use the tinted moisturizer by SkinCeuticals that I have also talked about in my skincare videos, which is a high quality mineral sunscreen. Also gives you a nice uh, color and it adapts to your own individual skin color. So there are lots of op options. I will, will also link some down below. This way you can trick a little bit and have like kind of makeup look, although you are not wearing makeup. And with regards to lashes and eyebrows, if you can get your eyebrows and maybe lashes also tinted. So for your holidays, it is really practical if you don't have to use makeup. With the lashes, for me personally, tinted lashes don't really help a lot because I don't have the volume that I need, but you could also get a lash lift, for example, that will give you a little bit of a volume 
or you just use a little bit of waterproof mascara but I would if you don't have like tattooed eyebrows or something like microblade eyebrows then I would just tint the eyebrows that's a really inexpensive and easy way to have this a uh, little bit more polished sophisticated look even on the beach and for the lips you can just use a nice lip gloss with SPF because of course you should also protect your lips and if you use like a very natural translucent lip gloss it will also give you a nice elegant uh, look if you want even more and that doesn't bother you you can use a little bit of a highlighter on your cheekbones and the highlighter that I would recommend here is the NARS Orgasm and it's uh, this one because it is a really practical stick that you can just, um, I will show you, it's almost used up <laughs> so there's not much left but it's a really nice color, it's like a peachy pink color that suits every skin type and I've read about it in a book how, that's called How to Look Expensive I actually made a book review about that, you can watch it if you like and this was recommended so often and then I it's, yeah, I just bought it because the girl who wrote the book really recommended it so much and I must say that it's a really good investment. I have it already for five years. I don't use it on a daily basis. I think it's really nice for summer as it is a creamy texture and has some little glimmer in it. You can perfectly put it like a little bit here on your cheeks and uh, yeah maybe i can show you because now i'm not wearing any highlighter here so maybe you can you can see a little bit so it gives you a little bit of a blush and a little bit of a glowy a glow to your skin yeah maybe here the light is not the best i don't even have a microphone sorry for this sound but that video was kind of spontaneous but you can use something like this and then you you will feel almost like you were wearing makeup but this is not necessary just if you want like a little extra when you may be on a beach party or something like that number nine use a nice hairstyle of course we shouldn't forget our hair and i always tend to put my hair up because I find it more practical, of course, with all the sunscreen and the sweating and the heat, etc. But sometimes it really looks nicer if you just leave your hair open as it is. Even if you go to the pool or to the swimming in the sea, if you get out, it can just dry um, on the air. And even if there is sunscreen with it, but if you are going into the sea, it doesn't really matter just depends on what will look nicer with your style but you can as well do a nice updo for example and this can also look very sophisticated normally those uh, flowy and feminine hairstyles tend to look better on the beach than very very strict hairstyles of course you can also make do some braids if this suits you i would say that the most classy hairstyles are yeah either nice updos or maybe a nice braid or just leaving the hair open. You can also use the hat on top so this will also complete your look. Or if you don't use a hat you can use like a hair band or a headband that suits your bikini or bathing suit and this also complements the hairstyle a little bit. And number 10, avoid cheap looking costume jewelry on the beach. Avoid wearing too much jewelry actually. I know there are those body chains and belly chains and piercings and you also have like big earrings or bracelets but I would keep it minimal and maybe only keep your gold necklace if it's not too big or chunky or of course you can keep your gold bracelet or silver but I would avoid to use costume jewelry on the beach. It also won't go well with the sun, with the sunscreen, with the sweat and with uh, the water, the salt water especially. So uh, either you really use fine jewelry, but little jewelry that you are wearing anyway, that you are also showering with, or you just don't use any jewelry at all. It's better than putting on some costume jewelry because this will really not go well with the heat and everything. Also, those body chains might look 
not classy, if you know what I mean, and they might irritate your skin even. And of course, it's also not very practical for the beach. So those were my most important tips for looking expensive on the beach. I hope you liked those tips. If you liked them, please give me a thumbs up. This video, unfortunately, is maybe not the best quality because I don't have any equipment here, but I still hope that it was useful for you. I will see you in my next videos. Subscribe if you haven't already and tell me how you liked my tips and if you have some other tips maybe for looking expensive and classy, sophisticated and attractive on the beach. Bye bye!